if I am the example of me, then how can you charge me with piracy of your belief if I am the example of my belief in me? So if you believe in what was written and now I am now writing of me, then why would I now listen to you tell me of who you believe in and they was written to never be wrote again and now I am writing so that the next generation will be able to read or future generations will be able to read about what you can't even understand in the generation that you reside in. So now you're telling people about an example for which is defined as one that serves as a pattern to be imitated or not to be imitated. See, so now, if it's two sides to every story, then it's two examples inside every story. See, look, one that serves as a pattern to be imitated. Now, let's see what imitated. To follow as a pattern, model, or example, right? To be or appear like. To produce a copy of, right? Now, if I am imitating Jesus, right, then I would be Christ. See? Because if I'm imitating him, then I'll be him by definition. And Christ, by definition, is an ideal type of humanity. So, let's see humanity. Compassionate, sympathetic, generous behavior or disposition, which I showed in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as inside of the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida for eternity. Because once you show something, what you've shown have been seen. Now, it hasn't been seen by the masses because an example starts out as a pattern, right? Let's, let's, example. See? So if, if one, so it starts out as one person, right? That serves as a pattern. A form or model, a pattern is defined as a form or model proposed for imitation. So see, Jesus was supposed to be imitated. He was supposed to be produced over and over and over and over. But the church tells you, you can't be Jesus. You, so how can you serve as an example if you can't be a pattern? See, if you can't be formed, right, into a model proposed See, so if you say Jesus' father gave him, he gave him as an example, not a sacrifice. Look, come on, man. See, you, you made him a sacrifice, the high priest Caiaphas them. So his father didn't, see, look, an act of offering to a deity something precious. So now, if, if the father of Jesus gave you Jesus, then the sacrifice was when he allowed Jesus to leave heaven with him to come and be an example for you. But what you did is you killed the example and you recreated the story to benefit you. Because the same poor people are poor now under your leadership and under your guidance as they were under Jesus, because Jesus was feeding them fish. What you feed them, right? You're not, you're not, you're not, you sacrificing them to the president of whatever state or union or hamlet you stay in. See, cause you are afraid to save them. So you feed them 
toxic information to make them not see the limits that's placed on them. See, you as a teacher of them is responsible for them. See, do not teach if you don't want to leave. Because if you teach somebody and you don't show them how to use what you're teaching them, you are leading them astray. See, so that's why before I called my people, I knew how to raise my family. See, that's what I was trying to tell my family. See, you looked at me from 19 to 39. But if you saw me from from, uh, from from 19 to 39, then you should see the progress that I had made. But see, if you walk in, in jealousy, then you're not learning. You jealous. See, so when I'm coming to you, telling you what I'm doing, you jealous. See what I'm saying? And instead of you reaping the benefits of the knowledge and we could have been at the same place at the same time. Because see what I'm telling people, say, if I made $25 an hour and you make $10 an hour and your wife make $10 an hour, in this plan, that would have been $45 an hour. See, but what they was jealous of that I made 25. But I'm saying, okay, bro. But I'm going to show you how to make your 10 look like 25. But you not thinking, I, I'm doing something wrong. I'm saying, well, I'm working, making $25 an hour. That's what I'm doing, and I'm turning the $25 an hour into what you jealous of. So are you jealous with the degree, which is the lifestyle? So you jealous of a person who, did, who get a degree. But it's people with degrees don't make $25 an hour. It <laughs> got a degree. See what I'm saying? So if I if I um use my blessing to bless, but how do you bless a jealous person? See, wouldn't the wall of jealousy be like the the wall of Jericho? And they would sacrifice knowledge out of ignorance? out of spite. See, you got to wake up to be up. See what I'm saying? If not, you ain't going to never get up because you're going to be too sleep to wake up. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Sometimes you can sleep through something and, and what you sleep through may not ever allow you to wake again. So you thankful for being awake, but you sleep. Because you don't know that there's no blood on your post and you miss your court date. It's a warrant out for your arrest. But you laughing at the person who sent the warrant. But you wouldn't have been laughing in court. <laughs> see, see, you'd have been running then. But see, you won't respect your image. And that's why a slave is forever going to be a slave. Because his God or its God or their God can't look like them. They not going to accept it. And that's the sickest thing about a mental um, institution. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, your mind is an institution. And if you're not careful, you are being a mental institution within your mind. So now... Who is your psychiatrist inside your own head? So see, that's why what man do is medicate a fool. And then see what fools do is they act like fools to get the medication. Because now what they've done is see the high. See, we are we're an addicted nation, man. Don't y'all see what these, these people like? America dropped the atomic bomb on, on other countries. But the other countries, they got chemical warfare, crack, meth, fentanyl. That don't come from here, man. That comes over here. So now, if if I am in a weapon, if, if I'm in war, and I can manipulate the mind, 
then see, all I got to do is give this country some drugs, and it's going to, it's Benedict Arnold. See, but do addicted people understand their addiction, and do they add up the cost of being addicted? But the person who creates the substance that you addicted to has already tested its potency so it knows what it's capable of. See, so the person who created crack created you and he created the drug dealer as well as the crack, di uh, crack addict as well. So now, if, crea if you believe in the Bible, when, when was you created? You was created in, 19, in the 1980s. See, so when did Jesus save the crackhead? When did Jesus save the crack dealer from the creator of crack? See what I'm saying? But you, you run after the money and not see the root of evil that you chase. But now that I am telling you about your evil root, you will not cut it off. You will let it grow and cut the truth off. So see, you are, you are devil by omission historically. The state of Florida is in rebellion against the state of Florida. So how can it not fall in on itself? But then here I am telling the citizens and the, the 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 slaves. I'm talking about the workers. These people, they ain't they ain't rich. They they were not where I live. They ain't, I mean they still like they were when we was in high school, thinking that they something. And you saying, okay, my brother, you, but look around you. We this town has lost more than its game. But all y'all talking about the money y'all got, and when these. When, when it was real businessmen in the town of Edenville, in Florida, it was thriving. <laughs> it was clubs, businesses, and now I ain't nothing but dope in there. People that don't even stay in there got stores. See, people used to stay in there, had the stores in there. But see, now, when, when don't nothing mean nothing, then it go away because they don't mean nothing. So when you live in a house and you don't repair the house you live in, the house become condemned. So see, when you live in a town and you don't invest in the town you live in, the town become abandoned. And if you have a bunch of drug addicts and drug dealers in a town, that town is dead. Financially, it's nothing living in there. See, everything that you produce is illegal. So that's how they're going to come take the town. <laughs> See? Because they're going to use the law to do it. See, that's why a leader should never manipulate the lead. See, because what happened when the lead see that it's being manipulated? then what is one leader going to do to a multitude that they have misled? So you must be careful of the repercussions of your actions. See, it's all good until you get called on the wrong. See, then you're going to become a common criminal. See what I'm saying? So see, so now what we are now in is what if Jesus was me, then you would be in the court case of him charging those who are similar together against him in Jerusalem. See, the chief priests are now in the civil and criminal courthouses and similar in Orange counties in the state of Florida, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida. See, the, high, the, the strives, the elders of the people. See, instead of going to the palace of the high priest, who, who was called Caiaphas, now they standing before King Tommy Chansey Council Sr. of Folk Houses Incorporated inside of the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida ever since August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning.
and they missed a court date because of Pastor Willis C. Barnes, a Macedonian Missionary Baptist Church, missed to come in and defend Jesus. See, he became the rich man who has just about as much chance of getting into heaven as a camel walking through the eye of a needle. And see, that needle that he has just as much about a chance as a camel walking through, I walked through it and then I threaded it with the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, Statutory Law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964 on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. So there's no way he can walk through it on August 28 uh, in 2023 at 7.38 in the morning. But see, I could. I could still walk in there because you know why? The Florida Constitution going to say, hey, King. Hey, King. How you doing? And I'll be like, I'm good. How are you? See, because it recognized its creator. But you, your creator cannot tell you job well done when you can't go into the judgment hall because you are afraid to defile it 2,023 years after you, you sent your Lord and Savior to the cross. See, you got to go back to the beginning of Christianity and at the beginning of Christianity, you committed an atrocity to the Son of God. <laughs> See, and now at the end, you kill my son for your sins. See, so how can you kill my son and not be charged with killing Jesus? So see, if Jesus' father has now, is now seeking revenge, then wouldn't he create a father? See, why wouldn't Jesus' father who sent his son, and you killed his son, why wouldn't he not come as a father to avenge his son in that same judgment hall that you judged his son? See, right? Isn't that what it's saying now? Do you, you know, don't judge lest ye be judged. So now you judged, right? And now you being judged. See, so it said, do not judge. This is Matthew 7 warning you, warning Pastor Willie C. Barnes and all kinds like him because your kind was created in Jerusalem and your kind was created in, in at, the, at the base of Mount Sinai when Aaron took all the gold out your nose and everything and made that golden calf, which nine turned into y'all churches, temples, synagogues, and mosques. See, you have an altar in which to burn incense in front of. But how do you burn incense in front of the truth when you won't go in? See, you burn incense to Jesus way Jesus never was. When Jesus was in church or temple, he was being judged and he was telling y'all that he's going to raise his body up in three days and y'all slapped him, spit on him. And now y'all profess to love him while you slap me and spit on me and then kill my son. And I'm saying, how are you love when all you do is hate? That's it. You against everything you say you believe. Everything. So how are you forgiven, let alone saved? You're not even forgiven. You won't even judge yourself, but you lie to yourself. And you say, you not God? See, that's a lie too. But you're not a God. You're an impersonator of a God. So you're true in your lie. You are not real, but you real. See, but you just real fake. See what I'm saying? So now, do not judge. Matthew 7. Judge not that ye be not judged. So now, did the high priest Caiaphas, when he judged Jesus, did he not now be judged? And his descendants and everybody who is in his in his uh, aura? See, because you say you know, why then can you not go to court? 
See, if you are followers of Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee, you should be able to follow him in the court and undo what your father did. See, not Jesus' father, the father of the church, the high priest Caiaphas, who they keep telling you they went to his house, his palace. So how, if Jesus had to feed 5,000 people a fish, some fish and, and bread, what was the high priest Caiaphas living in a palace? That's like, that's the same thing Caesar was living in, Caesar palace. So you telling me the preacher got a palace and King the King Henry had a palace too. So see, they all had palaces back then. Jesus was like I am with the people, giving them the game. See, but you say is the Jesus ain't play no game. Man, he was giving parables out. Cause he knew he couldn't tell the truth. Y'all were gonna kill him. But see, I'm telling the truth because you will kill me if I lie. See, because then if I lie, you're going to come at me. See, look, a game, a physical or mental competition conducted according to rules with the participants in direct opposition to each other. See, that's a game. So if you in court, the game you playing is for your life. Now, once I won my life, why would my people put me in a mental hospital and not done ruined 15 years of my life, but now say that they believe in Jesus? And I'm saying, well, hey, man, according to um, Matthew 7, you judge me. See, I'm coming to my family. I'm saying, see, this is why I don't believe in the Bible. You judge me, man, and you dead wrong. But now you got my friends involved. You got the world involved, and this is what I'm saying. Your family is your worst enemy. Now, let me show you what I did. Now, this is when they say you bring them through the eye of a needle. See, this is when you bring them through a straight gate. Look, this Matthew 7, verse 13. It's called narrow gate. It say, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there will be which go and treat. So that's a, uh, yeah, it's treat. So T-H-E-R-E-A-T. -E -E because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. See, I, I, I brought them through that straight gate, that eye of that needle. But here these preachers, who see who can't find it is now slandering me because they trying to keep their mortgage payments. They trying to keep their car payments. See, this ain't by God no more. It's by them. See, but when they when when the devil came after my personal property, that's when I went and got my property, my people. See, I allowed the devil to seem like he took something so I can get what I really came for. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I came to this world to get my people into the promised land. But how do you know that, man? How do I tell you that? But Dr. Martin Luther King told y'all, he say, my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. <laughs> That's what he said. He said, I may not get there with you, but I'm telling you that we're going to get into the promised land. And I came and y'all rejected me. I came three days and nine months after y'all killed him in, in, in Memphis, Tennessee. I came. Just like he said, I came, I saw, and I conquered with his laws. So did I come down Mount Sinai in the arms of Moses? Or did I come through the words of Dr. Martin Luther King? But I came, and I'm here now, and what you gonna do with me? You sure you killed my son? Are you sure? That's all I'm asking. Because just as show sure as the sun gonna come up tomorrow, I'm gonna do what I told you I'm gonna do if you kill my son.
as sure as the sun coming up, <laughs> boy, you better believe you're going to get dealt with. Because you were dealt with on August 12, 2008, <laughs> at 10.40 in the morning. I had paid for everything. It was all paid for. That's when I said, it's done. Ain't that what y'all say Jesus did when he laid his head down and it was over? See, but he ain't raised his head up. See what I did? It, it's done. But look at me. I'm back up. And now it's your time. But when you lay your head down, it's coming off. Two million dollars. See, you paid 30 pieces of silver for Jesus. Nine, two million for you. See, but wouldn't Jesus' father do you like you did his son? Why would you be any different from him? If you could pay for his son to be put on a cross, why can't I pay for your head to fall off your neck? <laughs> okay now let me see uh, Matthew 7 so this this is what I did I entered into the straight gate in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida and on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning right I showed that the gate is that is wide right, and broad in the ways of destruction. See, so I took them to the straight gate and then they turn it into all of this corruption, all of this here. So see, they broadened it out. That's why I charged them with unindicted co-conspirator. So no matter how broad it got, they were still charged. But then I go to slaves and they mock me. <laughs> See, they mock me and they supposed to be religious. Right? And I'm saying, See, mock. Let me show you what they did to me. To treat with contempt or ridicule. To disappoint the hopes of. See, to defy. That's what they did. Me. See, contempt. The act of despising. The state of mind of one who despises. That would, they despise me, man, for loving them. Slaves, just like they did Jesus. Look, to look down on with disrespect or adversion. See? Let me see adversion. A feeling of repugnance towards something with a desire to avoid or turn from it. A settled dislike. A, 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 a tendency to extinguish a behavior, or to avoid a thing or situation, especially a usually prejudicial one because it is, it is or has been associated with an obnoxious stimulus. So that means my truth is, is a, a, a obnoxious, obnoxious to them. <laughs> the truth, but they say they Christians seeking truth. But when truth come to them, they crucify it in the name of truth. Now, how can you save truth and crucify truth? Right? How can you do that? How can you be both a savior and a crucifier? Right? So now, now look, Jesus betrayed and arrested. This is Matthew 26, verse 47 through 56. And while he yet spoke, lo, Judas, one of the twelve disciples, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and slaves from the chief priests and elders of the people. See? So now they try to say Rome sent people to get Jesus. But see right here, according to Matthew, which is a disciple of Jesus, he was there. He said, Judas... One of the 12 came with him, and Judas is his brother. Now, do y'all understand that Judas is Jesus' brother? That's the son of James. See, that's where that, that I mean, uh, 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 Joseph. See, that's what y'all don't understand. See, Judas is the man brother. 
See, that's why. So Judas is just like Cain. So Ju Jesus would be like Abel. See, the son of James, one of the 12 disciples. Now, they said that he was his brother now. See, but James, let me see. Let me see, man. These people be on some bush. Let me see, James. Apostle, son of Zebedee, the brother of Apostle John, according to the scriptures. See, these people, but okay, I read, it's a scripture that show you Jesus' brothers and Judas, one of them. But this is, but in, like I say, I had the old um, Webster's Dictionary, like it was the English version, and they said it. See, that's what I'm telling you, man. These, see, the people who give you definition give you understanding. But see, I'm just using the definition so my understanding can be in the understanding of my oppressor. See, I don't want, oh, Thomas said, Tom, uh -uh, I'm saying, no, I'm going to get the definition and then I'm explaining what I'm saying in the language that you can understand. Because if I speak my own understanding in my language, it's my language. Until my understanding become widely known, my meaning or anything mean nothing. 